Welcome back, Batman Fishing. Long, long time no see. Uh, life as it is has been keeping me busy. But nevertheless, it's December. I hope all of you have been on the good list and not on the naughty list. Uh, it is time for our reveal of December 2020's um, Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Uh, I also have another video for November's RTB. Uh, I know I didn't drop a video on that yet. Um, reason being, <laughs> my month was heck. So, um, my card actually got eaten by an ATM machine. Oh, it malfunctioned during a transaction. I was depositing money and it, it shut down. So, it wouldn't return the card. In doing so, the bank issued me a new card. And with that, obviously, the card information was voided. So, trying to get in touch with RTB to straighten that out was a lot of back and forth. Um, Obviously, with the issues going around uh, last month, thankfully things are going to hopefully be a lot better coming in the future, uh, but it was hard to get in contact with them. Nevertheless, supposedly that's going to be straightened out, but that, that left me without a December RTB to share. Uh, but I do have Novembers, and I will drop that video uh, shortly. Nevertheless, this video is all about Mystery Tackle Box. So... Uh, Let's dive into this. We'll make this short and sweet. Alrighty, so I'm hoping for December there is not a whole lot of summer style baits. But you never know with Mystery Tackle because they are, as they say, a mystery. You can get any kind of bait in these boxes. So we'll start off opening the box. We have the Dibble Digest. That's just a tip and trick. A uh, little pamphlet. In this one, um, you're going to have Three reasons to catch and release big fish. That's a, a good thing for conservation. Eleven things bass anglers never say. Well, that's fun. A fun little pamphlet this, this month. Um, our what's in the box card. And this month I have two, four, six, eight, nine. My lucky number. Nine baits. If you want to zoom in, pause on that. That'll give you the prices that they have for their estimated uh, retail values. And there are some two big ticket items on the top and then some modest uh, priced items throughout the rest of the, uh, the card. So let's start off the bat. Number one, the Weston's Hypotease Glide Bait. So the Weston's Hypotease was out last month in a lot of people's boxes. Uh, not the Glide Bait though. Uh, that was the Whopper Plopper style uh, Hypotease. Um, so this is interesting. So this month I've gotten the Glide Bait style. So we'll crack into this. Weston is a, uh, you know, it's a high-end brand name uh, for, for those who aren't accustomed to Weston's. Uh, they do put a lot of care and effort. They do use quality materials, hooks, and uh, they do have an attention to detail, especially in mimicking the 3D fins. You can see there on the pectoral fins. Great 3D eye right there. This is a two-piece glide bait, so it's a single joint. It's got a flexible, soft rubber tail. Um, same as this bottom anal fin. The dorsal fin and the pectoral fins are also made of that same soft rubbery material. It has a, uh, this is interesting, it's got a, a horizontal line tie rather than a vertical one. So instead of the line tie running vertical with the face of the bait, this one's running horizontal. That's a little different. Uh, I'm not accustomed to that. Um... Wait, wait, I'm going to say this is probably, you could probably run this on spinning gear if you wanted to. Uh, let's see, uh, running depth is 0 to 3 meters. It has carbon steel hooks. It is, where's our dive depths? Okay, um, five and a half inches, it's a three quarter ounce. So yeah, you could. it's a suspending bait. So you could run this on 
you know, your, your typical bait caster or spinning reel if you wanted to, three quarter of an ounce, that's well within the lightweight range. Um, not bad. Zero to three meters. So that's pretty cool. And it's suspending. So once you get it down to that dive depth, if you want to run, uh, you know, a heavier line, um, or I should say a lighter diameter line and run a sinking style line. So, you know, your mono or uh, your, flu well, your fluoro, fluoro sinks, that's what you want to go with. So like a fluoro leader, if you want to run that on a mono main line or just straight fluoro. And that'll get this down to sink a little bit deeper for you, really push the envelope. And then it'll suspend down there as you're working the bait. Uh, this, I, I honestly, you know, glide baits are a good winter bait, uh, early winter, um, obviously. On, once the ice is on there, you're not going to be swimming these. But uh, they're a good winter bait uh, for search patterns because they are a cast and reel retrieve kind of bait. That's not bad. They have that at $18.99. Again, that's the premium brand name of Weston. Uh, but it is a good lure. I, like, I do like the paint scheme. Um, and I do like that they give you a little Weston sticker in the box. <laughs> they call this pattern, uh, let's see, they have a color on it? I bet you they don't. It's so hard to find information on these. No, I don't see a color, just a, a number. Hypo Tease Glide Beat. Oh, American Shad, they call it. American Shad, the suspending American Shad. All right, Livingston Lures, another name brand that we're accustomed to, has the Jerk Master for $11.99. Now, Livingston is known to have that uh, realistic bait sound profile. They have the little speakers and little vibrators inside of their baits that when uh, the, the hooks uh, contact water, they'll give off a realistic dying bait fish imitation sound. Uh, this one is no different. And you see the package right there. It's got that little uh, watch battery in there and then the servo and it'll make that chirping or what have you, whatever sound they profile that they come out. Smart chip, they call it. EBS. Multi-Touch Technologies Electronic Bait Fish Sound. Uh, this one is their Jerkmaster 121. Uh, it is, they've got this one in Tennessee Shad pattern. And it's a 5 8 ounce, depth of 4 to 6 feet. So it's got that nice little dive bill. Again, now this one goes back to that vertical up and down line tie with, a, uh, with an oval ring. So that's really good. That's it's going to definitely prevent you from catching your line uh, on the on that front treble. I also like how the front treble doesn't pass the the lip. Sometimes you get these baits and they put this little, this hook tie a little too high in the chin, and that hook will end up and catch this little bottom of the lip, and then you end up foul hook the the front end every single cast, and that becomes very annoying. Uh, Tennessee shad they got for this. It got that nice green pea color on the back with that off white gold tone. For the shad pattern as always um, not bad it's got a rattle to it as well and uh, obviously it's got that uh, electric bait shad sound Let's see if I can I can't get it to react to me today anyway so basically the the idea is once these hooks get uh, in contact with moisture uh, this will trigger the uh, the internal computer to start chirping or vibrating or making like a little buzzing sound to attract uh, the fish thinking that it's a wounded bait fish. They do work. Um, I mean, pro anglers, they use that underwater aqua speaker system um, to, to send out the imitation of dying bait fish or feeding frenzy fish to trigger the bass and other uh, predatory fish to start spooling up and, and wanting to feed. So this is no different in the idea just a little bit more simplistic in the technology. Um, so there, there's that. And again, that was $11.99. Next up, Guggen's. Obviously, MTB and uh, Catchco are going to be pushing their Guggen Bait products. We have the Guggen Baits Slim Shake Worm. It's going to be a big, big bag. All right. All right, MTB. Do I have two here? Summer Craw. Summer Craw, Slim Shake Worm, two nine packs, two nine packs of the Slim Shake in Summer Craw pattern. So, sorry there, MTV, you, you, you packed double in my box, so I got a freebie. That's not bad. So I got two for the price of one. Set this aside here. I'll open up this one. Uh, this is five dollars and ninety-nine cents, comparable price to other worms. Uh, you get a nine count in these, and they're just basically a. Uh, 
a very nice anise scented, you know, finesse worm. Perfect for slow rolling in cold water. You got that pumpkin seed color. They call it the summer craw because it's a little bit more of a, uh, they got a little bit more of a neon yellowish green on the bottom belly part. And then it's just like, you know, your typical watermelon uh, slash uh, green pumpkin on the top. See if I can fit this back in here. Very slippery and slimy. I have no problems with the Guggen's baits as far as baits go. Uh, I don't fall into the trap of the name. Names don't mean anything to me. I like quality over name brand recognition. Just like I say with the Livingston name brand and with the Weston, there's a lot of times, specifically that Weston bait, to me it's overpriced. But you're paying for that name. Uh, that being said, Guggen baits, $5.99. That, I honestly say, is, is within the realm of reason. So that's a good bait there for $5.99. Next, the Exone Lures MB Fat Finesse Worm. All right, so I got an Exone, or commonly we get these in a lot of the other boxes. This one is the Fat Finesse Worm. It's a 12 count in Red Bug. It's a color I do like. Red Bug is another good color for sight fishing in the spring during the, uh, during the spawn. And it's always a good color to fish anytime because red triggers fish. It emulates a worm. That natural red color, uh, you know, blood worms or regular night crawlers, and certainly bleeding fish, they look for red. So you got that. It's got a nice profile uh, from Exxon. Little ribs to catch some, some water, cause some water bottle, bubble displacement. It's got that spadish style paddle tail on the back. Little bulbous, almost like a diamond, diamond head rattlers kind of uh, head there. But uh, that's not bad. Again, they want uh, $5.99 for this. And this is a 12-pack. So there's your, there's your compar uh, comparable kind of way to think about things. You can pick up these little finesse worms, 12 of them in a package for $5.99, or go with the Guggins and get nine for $5.99. Those are a little bit longer profile. These are 6-inch. The Guggins, uh, just to reiterate, were, I think, a 6, 7.5. 8-inch. Well, I'm going to say 7, seven or 8-inch um, for the Guggins. So there's that. Uh, next up, uh, 569, Vertican, uh, Vertical, Vertical Lures <laughs> Kraxen, K-R-A-X-E-N. So it's not a Kraken, it's a Kraxen. Vertical Lures Kraxen. Let's see what we got in here. That's not it, that's not it. Vertical Lures Kraxen, black and blue, four and a half inch, and what is this, a creature bait maybe? It's another soft plastic in the box. Okay. Okay. It's yeah. Ooh. All right. So this is a almost like a tube style worm meets uh, tube. So you got this black blue. You've got your typical senko, large thick senko style front end, and then on the tail end you have a series of these flailing little appendages, sort of like tube, like a tube bait. I think. Let's see. You got four, six. I guess two for six of these winglets off the back end. Now this would be great for southern guys punching in the mats during the spring and summer. Uh, winter, I don't know. I don't know. I think cold water, this might not give the action that you're looking for. Um, I mean, you do want subtleness during the cold water season, but, but I don't know if all those little things kind of just kind of, uh, to me, that's a little too much. And they're, they're a thick, flat profile, so they're apt to stick together as opposed to like your typical tube, which I do, I do recommend. Try tubes during the winter uh, because they're thin strands similar to, you know, when you're throwing a jig. <laughs> uh, you've got the skirt on the jig with those, the real plastic, you know, natural plastics or uh, the silicone skirts, and they tend to, to give that, they don't stick together. They individually will give you that flutter. Something like that, they stick together and it kind of mungs up the, the works. Uh, but nevertheless, the Kraxons in black blue, five sixty nine. All right, next missile baits Ike, Mike Iaconelli, flip out jig, jigs. Again, always good for winter. Uh, slow dragging these along the bottom. This is in Super Bug. It's a seven, a three quarter ounce. Um, VMC hooks. Mike Iaconelli always runs VMC for his hooks, which is always good. This gives you a good bluegill color pattern with the green and a little bit of blue flash and black in there. Um, it's 
silicone skirt material. BMC hook stabbing me in the thumb. <laughs> it is a weedless one. It's got the uh, fiber weed guard nylon. You've got your perpendicular line tie right there. A black head, which is always good because you're not going to, you know, solid colors are nice because you can hit it off of stuff. It's going to chip or whatever. You can always take a magic marker, color, color this back up. Or if you have like uh, artist paints and a little brush or Q-tip, color it back up more off the, the chips and stuff. Um, although this is pretty good material, so I doubt this is going to uh, not accept a little bit of rough damage running across rock, riprap, etc. Always good in the winter to have jigs. Again, slow. Key, slow. Throw it down there, drag it slow. Don't have too many more uh, weeks of fishing left. Days, I should say. We've already had the storm, the nor'easter come through. So, uh, you know, most of this stuff is just going to sit in my tackle box until spring uh, when the season kicks back off. So, uh, so there's that. The Mike Iaconelli is the flip jigs, $4.99. Excellent value for a three-quarter ounce jig. Next up, Lunker City's Texposer hooks. So we've got Lunker City Texposers. So basically your Texas rig. It's just a uh, offset wide gap worm hook. Great for Texas rigging soft plastics like the worms from Guggen or the worms from uh, Exxon. Uh, you know, Texas rig these. Drag it slow. Always good. Lunker City is a good brand for hooks. You know, it's not the best, but hey, it is what it is. And you do get five in this pack. Quantity of five in our three-aught hook. Awesome. Uh, Bruiser Bait's Crazy Crawl. That I do not have. I am missing a bait. So they doubled me up on the Googans, and I missed out on the Bruiser's Crazy Crawl for $2.20. So, uh, hmm, I'll be interested. I'll have to go look at people who had this month's box and see if anybody got the Bruiser so I can see what that profile looks like because I haven't watched anybody's videos yet. Uh, sad to say, it's just Christmas around the way. Uh, last, last thing I do have is another set of terminal tackle Another set of EWG hooks. This time it's a three-pack of Harmony's uh, EWGs. These are the Razor series from Harmony. Oh, another just a pack of worm hooks. You know, nothing special, but you can never have too many hooks. Uh, so that rounds it up. Those are $1.99. You got the Weston's Hypotease Glide Bait, that, that uh, single joint uh, glide for $18.99. Livingston Lures Jerk Master, the three treble jerk bait. I'm willing to give that a shot. I'm interested in how that works. Uh, $11.99. Guggen's Slim Shake Worms, which I have two packs of for $5.99. But that's okay, because Christmas is around the corner, so stay tuned. You might actually be looking towards getting a gift from me. And uh, that's going to be $5.99. The Exxon Lures MB Fat Finesse Worms, those Red, bu uh, yeah, red Bug Worms, those are, uh, those are in... For $5.99. The Vertical Lures Kraxen, those little funny looking half worm, half uh, tube baits, are $5.69. The Iken Mike Iaconelli's Missile Bait Flip Out Jig is $4.99. The Lunker City Hooks, $3.99. Bruiser Baits, which I didn't get, $2.29. And finally, the Harmony Hooks at the end for $1.99. And most important of everything in the box, we got our Catch Co. Fishing brand sticker. So uh, another another uh, awesome decal to lay to my collection. Uh, I hope this was entertaining or at least informative. Uh, sorry it took so long, like I said, uh, things being the way they are and the job that I have, it, uh, it's been hectic. But uh, I'm back. I'm, I want to especially appreciate all those who actually commented on other videos, texted me on uh, in social media platforms asking am I okay everything's fine it's just been a lot of work and no time <laughs> and all work and no play makes this guy a sad fisherman uh, but we're back and I'm looking forward to sharing some more things with you upcoming hopefully uh, if things go well my RTV uh, boxes will start back in cycle probably for January We'll see. I haven't got correspondence back to see if everything went through. I gave him the new information, finally got a hold of him. I'm just waiting for confirmation that everything is A-OK. -okay. And uh, again, the um, 
the Angler's Hall kits uh, were paused through the, the company. They, they, they shut down, stopped shipping uh, until come spring. So maybe, I'm gonna guesstimate February, uh, we'll probably see a new Angler's Hall and see what kind of cool kit uh, they have to share with us. So from me to all of you, I hope to give you all a very Merry Christmas and uh, be safe out there, enjoy, uh, share some love with those around you, uh, socially, responsibly, share the love. And uh, as always, tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast.